Let's take a look at factoring uh, a polynomial that looks like this, where we have uh, a coefficient in front of the x squared term. So that will, that will change things for us a little bit in terms of how we factor this. So first of all, this 2 is going to actually come over and multiply the 12. So that's our first step. And for us, 2 times 12 is 24. Well, oh, sorry, it's a negative 12, so we have to consider that negative. And, and 2 times negative 12 is always 24, but I mean, what I meant by for us is just, in this example, our, our number is negative 24. Okay, so now, what do we do with this 24? Well, we actually, we end up factoring it just like normal. And 24 is going to have a bunch of factors. 1, uh, sorry, negative 24. 1 and negative 24, negative 1, 24, 2 and negative 12 negative 2 and 12, 3 and negative 8, negative 3 and 8, 4 and negative 6, and negative 4 and 6. Okay, so we've listed all the possible combinations that multiply to get, to get negative 24. And what are we looking for? We're looking for the combination that will, that will add up to become 5x. So, so this step is really similar to what we're used to. We're used to factoring and, and having the terms add up to the middle term. So out of all these factors, what adds up to positive 5? And that is going to be negative 3 plus 8 equals positive 5. So negative 3 and 8 is, is what we're going to use. But we're going to, here, this part is where we actually, we break off from the original factoring a little bit more the original factoring technique. So here what we do is we say, okay, 2x squared, and then we're going to do plus 8x minus 3x. And the, that 8 and that 3 just came from, from here, oops, where we looked and we said 8 and 3 add up to 5, and they multiply to 24. And you can see 8x minus 3x really is 5x, so we didn't change anything yet. We just rewrote 5x as 8x minus 3x, and then we have our minus 12 still. Okay. And from here, what we're going to do is we're actually going to group. So we're going to say, okay, 2x squared plus 8x plus negative 3x minus 12. And now we have two different groups, and between each group, sorry, this is an 8x, between each group, what we want to do is we want to factor out what we can. So in this first group, we can actually factor out a 2x. So we have 2x times x plus 4. And if you distribute that 2x back in, you'll see those are definitely the same. And then we're adding, we're adding... Well, what can we factor out of this? Well, a negative 3 comes out. So this is negative 3. And there's no x attached to the negative 3, right? It's just plain old negative 3 because there's no x in this 12 term. And this becomes x plus 4. Negative 3 times 4 is negative 12. Okay. Well, we know plus a minus is, is really just... Uh, is really subtraction. So we can now use the shorthand. This might just make it easier to look at this. So we have 2x times x plus 4 minus 3 times x plus 4. Well, that means we can actually factor out an entire x plus 4, and we'll be left with 2x minus 3 times x plus 4. And and we're done. We have successfully factored our 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 uh, our polynomial into two binomials. Okay, so a couple things, or, or let's just re revisit this entire process. What did we do? First, we took our coefficient here, and we multiplied by the constant term. 
and we ended up with 24. We found the factors of 24 that added up to the middle term. Once we did that, we actually replaced the middle term with those two factors. We, we tacked on an x to each. And it's important to, rem to notice that at this stage, it actually wouldn't have mattered which order we put these in. So you could have done 2x squared minus 3x and then 8x minus 12. It, it, it actually it ends up, you'll, you'll end up at the same answer. But anyways, we, we picked our order this way, just arbitrarily, and then we grouped, factored what we could out of the groups, and then at this stage where you see these x plus 4s in white, if you did this correctly, uh, you will end up with two, th two uh, or sorry, you will end up with a one term that is the same at this stage. Once you factor out what you can out of, out of here, we brought the 2x out and we took the negative 3 out of here, What's left over should be the same in both in both terms. Okay, so we did that, x plus 4, it was the same for both, and then we just factored out that x plus 4. And we were left with our final answer. Okay, I think you got it the first time around. You could always watch this video again if you need to. And I recommend just doing a lot of these to get, to get practice if, if this is difficult for you. Okay, let's... Uh, Let's move on from here. See you in the next video.